첨가물 제로. 프로처럼 먹고 관리하자. 로드다. Yeah, Ilhak just 17 years old, but he doesn't look phased at all tonight, making uh -huh. his debut in the Road FC cage. As I mentioned earlier, he's got those four consecutive wins in the Central League, which has gained him a lot of experience. Yikte's got some style, but he might guess out later on because he moves too much. Yeah, national kickboxing champion, though. Uh -huh. Yeah, as you said, I, I, I wouldn't expect to see this fight hit the ground both <laughs> these guys for a healthy lever somebody's gonna get caught soon somebody's going to wow and uh Ilhak just pushing forward there uh -huh. he's got his opponent on the back foot real a few good shots crazy hooks these yeah. guys putting everything into this it is not moving as much as the earlier of the round yeah already he uh <laughs> he's been guessing yeah he's guessing a little bit yeah you can't move like that forever yeah perhaps he took this a little bit for granted, you know, his uh -huh. opponent being so young and uh, inexperienced on the pro circuit. He knows he's going to be in for a fight now. Oh, oh, and a nice right hook and an overhand there uh -huh. from uh, Ilhak. He's definitely getting the better of the striking exchanges. Uh -huh. Oh, no, that was a, wow, really heavy low blow. Uh, I'm surprised Ilhak took that so well. He's <laughs> now sitting down just uh, Wow. Ike earned some time to fill the gas. Yeah. He's going to have a hold of uh, five minutes to recuperate here. Oh. Yeah, that was a nasty uh, inside leg kick that just missed target. Huh? He just got up. He can't have up to five minutes, but... Ilhak just got up. Yeah, he's good. He's confident. Yeah. He knows uh, at the moment he's pushing his opponent back. I don't think he wants to lose that momentum. Ilhak in the blue gloves, just 17 years of age, just showing so much uh, ability here. The striking's really clean, crisp, and a nice high kick wow. as well. Both these guys so agile. Very technical. Ilha connected a lot of those oblique kick. It's going to affect the fight definitely towards the end. Wow. Ikte's just getting caught uh -huh. with those hooks on the chin. Uh -huh. It's not been enough yet to drop him, but I think uh, he cannot take too many of those. Yeah, it's ac accumulating. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh Ikte looks hurt. Yeah, and Ilha uh -huh. just looks so focused. Just slowly pushing forward, dropping his head and throwing those heavy, heavy hooks. What happened to Ikte's right foot? Is it just a habit? Ah, Ilha connected another right. Yeah, Ilha's got this pinpoint accuracy on his striking uh -huh. so far. It's really entertaining watching him fight. And of course, he's got a good team behind him, Team Strongwolf. Uh -huh. uh, really on the up here in Road FC. They've got a lot of good fighters, you know, on the main card. So he's got the uh, uh -huh. training partners there. Ikte's waiting, uh, Ikte's reaching a lot oh. of energy. Oh. And there's uh, the now uh, one for one in the uh, uh -huh. low blow department. Uh, Ikte's footwork is really good, but he's wasting a lot of energy chasing. Yeah, he, you know, 
he's throwing the strikes, but he's not able to connect so much, mm. right? And as you mentioned, no. yeah, that footwork is is good, but he's not putting it to use. It's a it's a good footwork, but it's not for the road FC. He's he's yeah, it's more kind of kick, kickboxing yeah, style, he's right? He's doing something else. <laughs> He's not quite able to find his range yet, Ikte. Whereas Ilhak, I think he's used to fighting, you know, kickboxing style mm -hmm. in these little gloves. That's a real big difference. There's a nice sharp jab there from Ikte. That's a real big difference, right? When, you, when you're fighting in the boxing gloves and then you switch up to the MMA Whoa. gloves. Whoa! Oh, he's real big shots. Heavy, heavy blows there from Ilhak. Whoa, he starts from left to low kick and he's connecting all the shots after. It's almost as if we're watching a computer game, you know, uh -huh. when we see Ilhak throw those huge right. overhands. But he's like got a chin. Something yeah. out of Street Fighter. Uh -huh. And both these guys got such good stamina. Whoa, wow, and a nice overhand way. right. Ikte's got a chin. He has, but uh, he's coming out worse during the striking uh -huh. game so far. The combination is just so good from Ilhak. He goes to the body, Whoa. then up to the head. Another somebody's nap, somebody's uh -huh. getting dropped soon. Nice low kick from Ikte. Mm -hmm. Ilhak's got to keep that chin down, though, with his back against the fence. He doesn't want to get caught. Oh, he's yeah, dropping take for down. a takedown uh -huh. here. It's first. not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not deep enough. Yeah, Ikte was ready for that. Uh -huh. I wonder if Ilhak has a proper technique. He doesn't. It was kind of a wasted effort, really. He's going to mm -hmm. have blown some energy on that. Okay, it was a very technical fight. I expected a, I expected a knockout, but yeah, still, both. Uh -huh, <laughs> still entertaining. Both guys have chins, and they, they are very technical. It's really hard to knock someone out in this position because both fighters are really good. Yeah. I mean, uh, wow, just look at the potential there from uh, Ilhak. He's only 17 years of age. This uh -huh. is his pro debut, and he's fighting like this, you know, in the open weight division. He's got a bright future uh -huh. ahead of him, for sure. Ikte, 10 years, he's older, but he's elder, but just not able to work his striking game. Mm -hmm. Just not able to get those points on the board. Not able to connect. Ilhak, as I mentioned earlier, two years of age, his father passed away, joined Team Strongwolf, you know, out of the generosity uh -huh. of the coach there, was able to train for free as his uh, family, you know, hit hard times. Other guys at the gym helped him out with uh, training gear, gloves, shorts, you know, mm -hmm. T-shirt, and he's really just devoted his life now, you know, to this moment, and uh, he's not throwing it away. He's really pushing his older, his older opponent putting everything into this. Whoa. Wow, just uh, huge overhand haymakers there. Ikte is oh. on the offensive now. He's going forward, though. He's got Ilhak on the back foot. Ilhak's just throwing these wild, crazy hooks. He's got to be careful. Ilhak doesn't look when he throws. That's why it's not ending accurately. Yeah, and he drops down for the single leg. He's got a grip, but uh, Ikte's Got a good defense. Mm -hmm. uh, he's given up on uh -huh. it. He's going to waste. Uh, he's going to wasted a lot of energy on that. It's a very good chance, but Ilhak let it go. Ikte might look for a knee and try to uh -huh. get his back off the fence. There we go. He's going to drop down for a takedown of his own. But uh -huh. yeah, both these guys don't really have the wrestling there. Uh -huh. They just got to stick to what they know. Stick to the striking game. Ilhak's really got to dig deep now. I mean, he did very well in the first round, but Ikte's coming out strong in the second. He doesn't want to throw this away. A nice, strong right hook again there from Ilhak. And that jab, I want to see more of that jab from Ikte. He's pushing his opponent back. Ilhak's got his back uh -huh. against the fence now. This is a bad position for him. Nice uppercut. Nice uppercut there. 
Yeah, he looks doing a lot, but it's not as powerful as before. Yeah, we're going deep into the second uh -huh. now. These guys are just so big and they've thrown so much into this that uh, they're both starting to gas out now. You can see the power just uh, kind of fading away. Oh, but a nice high kick from Ikte. Yeah, Kicks things off. Uh -huh. Second round, it's Ikte who's connecting a few shots. Ilok's not looking really when he throws. Yeah, he's lost that kind of pinpoint accuracy uh -huh. that he had in the first. He's just kind uh -huh. of throwing wildly at the moment, and he's covering up too much. Ikte's seeing that his opponent's covering, and he's just uh -huh. throwing hard, heavy shots. Ilok's guess, too. Ilhak's got to watch the takedown here. Ikte could drop, and uh, Ilhak's legs are just so close together. Mm -hmm. But he circles away. Ikte's got the center of the cage. And this fight is very hard to score. Yeah, <laughs> both guys dropping their hands now. They're really uh, breathing heavy. Just over two minutes left, and Ilhak senses it there. Whoa. He connected well. Both fighters connected a lot of powerful shots, but this fight is not going to end very soon. He's got to work his back uh -huh. off the fence. He's got to concentrate on that cage control. At the moment, he's getting stuck in positions uh, where he doesn't want to be. And Ikte's just coming forward. Uh -huh. Ikte connected two shots. Ilhak's in the cage, but he's resting. He's not, he's yeah. not doing something there. He's, he's doing taking it to a rest. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's using just the head control to kind of lean on his opponent uh -huh. and uh, get his breath back. Ikte is looking to really kind of push this, though. He uh, oh. he knows that he's got to do something in the second round. And all right. He's pushing forward. Those straight punches from Ikte are very good, whereas Ilhak's got those wild swinging hooks coming from the outside. Once again, uh -huh. the left hook and... Uh, Ikte just coming forward now. Both these guys swinging now. Ilhak's got his back. Another clinch right there. Oh, he really needs a wrestling or jiu-jitsu here because he really could could take advantage here. Yeah, he can get to those kind of positions, but then he doesn't know how to get his mm -hmm. opponent to the mat. Ikte might be able to finish this single leg. Ilhak's defending. He's oh. going for a kind of half-hearted uh -huh. guillotine here. His opponent, uh, his cornerman telling him to, yeah, circle off the fence, mm -hmm. which he does very well. He's listening. He's got this single leg. He's going to have to use a lot of energy to finish this, though. He's dragged oh. his opponent to the ground, though. Ilhak finally has a takedown. This is gonna, this is really good experience for him. Yeah, he might try oh. to pull his opponent's hips off. It's very late, though, in the second. And there we go. That's the... Uh, End of the second round. Do you think that Ilhak's done enough? He was very dominant in the first, but uh, Ikte pulled it back a bit in the second. Well, Ilhak had a, definitely he had a one point at the end of the round. That's really big in yeah, the UFC. I think that's going to be big uh, towards the result of this fight as well. I mentioned earlier that you usually get five to seven points per one fight in the UFC. Cause that, so that one fight is one point is really important. Yeah, especially at the end of fights, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Every pro fighter wants to put an exclamation mark on the end mm -hmm. of the round, right? They want to put it beyond reason in the judge's eyes. They want to show that they're dominant up to the last moment that they were trying, you know, their best to finish this fight. <laughs> Ilhak, though, just wow, such wow. heart from this guy, just 17 uh -huh. years of age. He's still in school, mm -hmm. and uh, he's showing this kind of level of ability. Very impressive because he's got a bright future ahead of, ahead of him. I yeah. mean, he's got years and years of fights left in him. He's just going to keep improving, you know, whether he wins or loses here tonight. It's going to be a great experience for him. <laughs> Ikte looks disappointed there. <laughs> he's been a prospect in his team. <laughs>
Yeah, the split decision I thought was fair there. Uh -huh. uh, Ilhak definitely took the first, uh, whereas Ikte looked stronger in the second. Uh, uh -huh. But I think, yeah, Ilhak just did enough on the judges' scorecards. Uh, wow. What a debut against uh, the more experienced, 10 years older opponent. He wasn't faced at all. He definitely had a very strong camp behind him. They had their team strong will. Uh -huh. 첨가물 제로. 프로처럼 먹고 관리하자. 로드닥.